Hey everybody, my expect the comics and I'm back. This time I want to talk to you about my 2022 collecting goals. If you want to hear what some of the books I want to be chasing after, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, I get in a timely fashion. So, um, this year's 2022 collecting goals, channel goals, um, well, let's just get into it. I think this will be a rather short video, so this should be pretty good. But um, before we get into it, let's do a recap of 2021 goals and channel goals. So, for 2021, I had five collecting goals, primarily, and then a couple of channel goals. So, first, for the collecting goals, my, one of my goals was to basically eliminate my pull, um, and I successfully did that. Um, I did not have a single book on pull in 2021, and I'm going to continue to do that in 2022 you know i'm right now away from home with work and uh it's just not really feasible to have a poll list and i'm primarily trying to stay away from new comic books um they just especially with the limited space i do have especially here um so i can't really just buy a lot of like brand new books and just keep them stored because i just have nowhere to store them and uh so i'll Primarily continue to just buy back issues, um, get books, send them out for grading, have some slabs, but keep the books very small, small quantities. Um, so that's, I was able to do that in 2021. Uh, another one of my channel goals was to give out more AOKs and uh, meet more community members from IG and YouTube content creators. So I did both of that. Um, I met more people this past year in 2021 than I did in the previous year. Went to some comic shows, um, went to some conventions, and uh, going across road, across country, I met some uh, great friends as well. So uh, I'm going to continue to do that in 2022 um, and also continue to give out some AOKs when I can. So I uh, was successful in doing that. Now, to the books. Um, not as successful in 2021 as I imagined going into the year. I had uh, five you know, main collecting goals. And uh, I think number five was picking up an LV Cole cover. And uh, I was able to get that. I ended up picking up one of his, uh, you know... Uh, forget what it was, one of his funnies. Uh, it was more of like um, his cartoonish comics. I, I wanted to get into the entry level LB Cole before I got into some pre-code. And I was able to pick one up for about 15 or 20 bucks at an LCS um, in Boston. So uh, got that off the checklist. Um, and then my big book that I had to get for the year was Werewolf by Night 32 which I ended up also getting that earlier in the year. I got that 7.0 UK Pence variant and uh, was very happy to get that book because the book has been just steadily increasing in value and I just didn't want to be priced out. My goal was to get a 5.0 and I ended up getting a 7.0. So that was nice. I was uh, very happy to finally get that book and, and, and uh, have it in the PC. Um, as for the rest of the books, the three others, one was to complete my Moon Knight volume one i ended up picking up some more issues but uh, i did not successfully complete the volume i have still four issues four issues left i think um and the only key i, I am missing is issue 15 which if i'm not mistaken is first xenomorph i have to look that up real quick but i'm, I'm pretty sure that's the only key and, the, and that character is a minor, it's a minor key villain. But um, I got to just pull up my list real quick. 
and I can just verify that. But, you know, I wasn't in a rush to um, complete the volume because I knew a lot of it was just back issues. Oh, yeah, first, for, yeah, 15, first appearance of Zenos. Yeah. Um, so that was the only key I had left to uh, get in the volume one. I'm still missing, like I said, issue 15, 22, 23, and 24. And then I'll officially complete Moon Knight Volume 1. Um, you know, I can go on eBay and buy them on there. But um, I just want the joy of trying to find them in the back issues, just hunting. Um, so that was unsuccessful. The... Number three on the list, I believe, was getting Submariner Comics issue number one from the Silver Age. I was not able to pick that up. I did find a few at conventions, but I just never, I, I didn't like the price that I saw. So I did not get that. And um, number one on the list was going to be likely, depending on the book, depending on the grade, it was going to be either the most expensive or definitely the hardest to get because Werewolf by Night 32 is not a hard book to get. There's plenty of them out there. It's just a matter of cost. Um, Submariner Comics, I came very close to picking up issue number, I want to say 14 or 13 at a con, at Terrificon. The guy was asking, I think, 1500 for it. I did a video on the, the whole thing and... Um, I didn't have any cash. I had just trade and, well, trading a little bit of cash. But uh, he, I think he wanted cash for it. But it didn't end up happening. It was a nice classic Alex Schomburg cover, war cover. But sadly to say, I didn't find any comics on Submariner Comics the rest of the year. It's just one of those that just does not come up for, just does not come up for sale often. So, um I was not able to successfully get that. So that's two out of the five I successfully obtained. So that's only 40% of my goals list. So reflecting on all that, I, I think I've decided that for 2022, and this is going to be shocking to some people, I will not have a goal list. Um, I've learned over the year that keeping specific, like, blinders for specific books kind of you know made it difficult for me to buy other books that were readily available um there's going to be a fun video on that coming then probably the next day or so after this video airs and i'll, I'll explain why um you know sometimes when you're set on specific goal books you know you miss out on books that you would have probably not had on your radar previously or books that you know you just weren't sure you wanted until you know you actually saw the book there for the right price um granted some of the those you know books that i was looking for in 2021 i'm still gonna you know look but i'm not gonna be like hard struck on looking for those books only um because, you know, like I said, Submariner Comics in the Golden Age, they're pretty scarce. They are pricey when they do come up because of just the sheer scarcity. And um, you just got to be patient for when those books do come up. And uh, it just has to be for the right price for you, of course. Um, so I'll continue to look. You know, I'm obviously going to finish Moon Knight Volume 1. I'm not in a rush to, to complete that, so I will get that. I decided that in 2022, I'm not going to be searching for Submariner Comics number one from the Silver Age. I'm just going to knock that off the list because that book's pricey too. I'd rather use that money towards the Golden Age version instead. There's plenty of Submariner Comics number one from the Silver Age, but there's not many of the Golden Age left out there. So that's going to be my... You know, like I said, I'm not going to be having a 2022 goal list. I'm just going to be basically as a collector just more open to looking out there and seeing what's what's available you know we learned one thing in 2021 is that 
the comic collecting market has spiked significantly for many factors. I'm not going to go over the factors. We, we, we all know what, a lot of it was going on. Um, but I'm just going to keep more of an open eye out there and just not really have a set you know, list of books that I want to obtain and just go out there, hunt, enjoy, and, and just enjoy you know, hunting comics in general. So um, that's it. That's my uh, 2022 uh, goals, you know, channel goals, um, objectives, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, hit the thumbs up, and until next time, Marks with the Comics, out.